Hello guys and welcome back and in this video we are going to discuss how you can make your career as a cloud architect. Now obviously you may be having some confusion, you may be having some questions. So all the questions and the confusions will be discussed in this video. And obviously if something is not discussed, you can obviously put that in the comment of this video. So let's get started. Okay, before starting about how you can make your career as a cloud architect, let's try to understand why there is so much buzz around the industry. Obviously, you can see I've written why there is so much buzz. Let's try to understand that. So what I've done, I've taken a screenshot from Google Trends and obviously you can verify that as well. What I'm doing, I'm comparing two jobs here, system admin jobs and cloud architect jobs. Now you can see this is a scenario from last five years. So obviously the date is 26th Feb of 2017. So you can see there is a constant uptick for the cloud architect jobs. But on the other hand, if I'm going to compare that to a system admin, you can see the trend is actually going downwards. Now, what does that mean? First of all, it does not mean that system admin jobs are getting away. Nobody's hiring system admin. What I'm trying to say is because of the power of cloud, people are now focusing on hiring cloud architects or people who have cloud computing skills compared to hiring someone who has just a specific set of skills for the job. So you can see this is the reason there is so much buzz around the industry related to this term of cloud architect. Okay, now let's discuss why is the reason behind this sort of, sort of a certain uptake of IDM. Let's try to understand and let's try to understand from the perspective of our industry because this is where the actual hiring is happening and this is where the requirement is coming from. So first of all, the scale of company is increasing. That means obviously the kind of solutions I'm building, the kind of services or products we are building, it has to be at a pace where it can actually scale up so that we can satisfy or I should say we can help the customers whatever values we are expecting out of our product. Secondly, remote work culture is here. That means if I'm a cloud architect, if my company is here, Due to pandemic, if we have to work from home. So why not use something like this? Because obviously, if I'm going to create an infrastructure, if I'm going to build an infrastructure, I have to have people present there to make sure that it is running 24 seven. Then we have easy for startups and small business to actually get into the cloud and start using the cloud because it is very cost friendly. It does not require a huge capital expenditure or I would say upfront capital expenditure and these are the few reasons why we are seeing this kind of an uptick and that is the reason why so many people are looking for cloud architects. Okay now let's try to understand who exactly is a cloud architect. Now I have a very uh, simple way of explaining things. If I'll ask you what is the meaning of architect you can say, okay, Avinash, this is a person who designs something, obviously not building something, but he, he or she designs something in a way as per the requirement. If I'm going to add cloud in that, that is the definition of a cloud architect. But obviously, if I have to give a very simple definition, it is a person who is responsible for building cloud infrastructure based on the requirement of a company. So ob obviously you are a kind of a person whom a company approaches and they say, hey, we are expecting these kind of users. We are expecting these many number of users. Do you have a solution which is quite, quite cost effective, scalable, secure, and we don't have to make any upfront investment? Do you have this kind of a solution? And if your answer is yes, and if you have the expertise of cloud architect, then that company is going to hire you because obviously that is the requirement of the company. So this is what a cloud architect in their day-to-day -day work do. Okay, now let's look into the exact responsibilities you have to do if you are going to become a cloud architect. So first of all, you have to make sure that you are aware of all the pros and cons of the cloud environments and the services of all cloud environment and I should say for all clouds. Why? Because company is going to say, hey, I need this kind, I have this kind of a requirement. It may be satisfied with one vendor, it may not be satisfied with another vendor. Secondly, it may have some uh, 
disadvantages from one vendor and it may have some advantages from the another vendor. So you have to be aware that at least top five popular cloud providers, you should be aware of all the services and the pros and cons so that you can provide a perfect solution. Secondly, you should know what you're supposed to use and when you're supposed to use. It is not that if you are using cloud, you can use anything whenever you want, whatever you want. It is that you have to make sure that you're optimizing what you're supposed to use and when you're supposed to use. Then you should provide cost effective solution because obviously we human beings love to save money. It is not because we are that kind of a person, but we want to make sure that we are providing effective solution in a most consistent and efficient way so that even company does not go out of business. And finally, we have to make sure that the infrastructure is secure because if that is not secured, you are not going to get the customers. If the customers are not going to come to your vendor, they are going to run out of business and they are not going to hire you as a cloud solution architect or cloud architect to find me. And the most important point, your solution has to be scalable. Because if the vendor comes in and say, hey, tomorrow we are expecting this marketing campaign and we are expecting around one more million people coming and visiting the platform. And if you're going to say, hey, we have to wait for another 20 days because we have to make sure that we can scale it up. If that is not automatically scaling, if that is not automatically scaling down or something like that, your job as a cloud architect is gone. So these are the few responsibilities as a cloud architect, you have to make sure that you are aware of. These are the responsibilities company expect you out of a, uh, like uh, from you if you are becoming a cloud architect, because this is the bread and butter for the company and for you. Okay, now I'm going to show you a job description. I should say a sample job description of a cloud architect. What kind of a responsibilities companies are asking and what kind of a responsibilities you are supposed to complete. And obviously, if the screen is not visible, we have put the link in the description of this video so you can get the exact job description from the link in the description of this video. Okay, so I hope this particular thing is visible in this video. And if it is not visible, obviously, you can look into the link which is given in the description of the video. But you can see uh, this particular company, which is uh, UT, sorry, U, U, UTC Associates. They are hiring a cloud architect for AWS requirement. They are going for the vendor of ten, uh, like AWS. And you can see these are the sort of a job description, if I may hope fully that is visible. So you can see provide solution to complex business problems. That is something which we have discussed. Uh, validates the technical designs with the client and explains how the proposed sort of strategies and different stuff lead and support the solutioning of cloud native solution in AWS migration process. So you can see, obviously, I'm not reading everything which is in the in this particular job description, but you can understand what we, whatever we have discussed is actually asked and it is the requirement of the client because obviously they're not looking for a solution which will work one time. They're looking for a solution which should work 24-7 without the worry because this is why they are investing in cloud so that they can provide the kind of value they are providing to the customers. Okay, now let's discuss how much you're going to make. So here we have taken two scenarios. One, if you are from United States, this is the kind of money which you are going to make. Obviously, we have taken this a screenshot from payscale.com. And you can see if I'm a cloud solution, sorry, cloud architect, I'm going to make around 101, sorry, 128k a year in USD, obviously. So you can see this is the kind of a, a salary, if I may, you can expect if you are a fresher, if I may. And if you are an expert, you can expect around 167. And obviously you can expect more than that if you have a good, good understanding. And if you have a thorough experience in cloud solution architect, I should say cloud architect role, because you can see companies are investing heavily on these skill set because now as a cloud architect, you are becoming the bread and butter for the company. Okay, now for the Indian viewers who are uh, watching this video, obviously you have the curiosity, okay, this is the amount of money United States, I can make in United States, what about India? So let's try to understand what kind of a money you can make if you are in India. So you can make around 18 lakh rupees an year. Now, obviously this is a big sum. And a lot of people will say, okay, Abhinash, that actually excites me. I'm quite interested in becoming a cloud architect. But I want to tell you something. This 18 lakh rupees is a lot of responsibility. And this responsibility simply means that whatever clients and customers you're serving, they are sleeping 
without worry that their solution or their infrastructure or their application, their websites or maybe the services are running 24 seven so that whatever value they want to provide to their customers is getting provided and your solution is scalable, secured and obviously budget friendly. So you can see they are making around 18 lakh rupees a year. If you're starting as a cloud architect without any experience, if you're a fresher, you can expect around four lakh rupees. But obviously, if you go further and if you have more experience, you can expect around 40 lakh rupees a year in India. Okay, Avinash, you have shown us what kind of a money we can make. Now I'm quite excited about this journey and I want to get started with this journey. What is the ideal path for me? So obviously I cannot give a generalized answer to everyone because everyone has a different career orientation. They have different career goal and they are at a current position which is not same for everyone. So for that kind of confusion, for that kind of questions, if you have these kind of questions, okay, I'm here. Now I want to reach to Cloud Architect. What is the perfect solution? So in that case, I would suggest that you should reach to the talk to us link which is given in the description of this particular video or maybe it is somewhere available here. One of the experts is going to understand your requirement of your career and they are going to guide you what is the right path for you. But for everyone who are looking for a sort of a generalized path, this is the path I would suggest. You should ideally start your career as an IT, IT support. Now why you should do that? Because you are going to understand how the infrastructure works without getting inside the infrastructure which is going to be very important because you will have the outside view to that. After that, you should become a system engineer. Now you understand what the infrastructure is, how that infrastructure works. You should now get inside the building, if I may, or I should say get inside the infrastructure and understand from the behind the scene how things work and how everything stays up 24 seven. After that, this is the optional step, I would say the database administrator. Now I'm saying this is optional because obviously this is not a kind of skill everyone would be thinking, okay, I want to possess. But if you possess this database administ administration skill, what happens? Whatever company you work in, whatever client, customer solutions you are building, they are going to store their data ultimately in a database. And if you have the administration skill, obviously that is going to be a plus point. And after that, you should now focus on becoming a cloud architect because you have the understanding of the from the outside of the system. Now you have the understanding within the system or I should say inside the system, you have some database, database administration skill. And now finally you can move towards the cloud architect journey because from there it will be very easy for you. Now I should say why that is the reason behind that and why we have discussed in a, this kind of a format, why you cannot become a cloud architect directly. Well, the reason is pretty simple. If you do not have the basic understanding of these parts, it will be very difficult for you to imagine what cloud can do with the help of cloud. So you have to understand the basics of these because if you have the understanding of basics of these, then you're going to become a very good cloud architect compared to becoming just a cloud architect. Okay, now let's discuss the career path respective to a vendor. Now, obviously, we are not discussing every single bit of vendor. We are going to discuss just AWS, Microsoft and Google. So what about AWS? If I want to become a cloud architect, if I want to become an average cloud architect, if I want to become a professional cloud architect, what is the right career path? What is the kind of a career path I should take in AWS to become that kind of a professional? So you have to start with cloud practitioner. So your journey is going to get started with the certification of cloud Path practitioner, which is provided by AWS. After that, you will be moving towards solution architect. This is an associate level certification. This is an associate level certification where you're going to have like, let's say two years or three years of experience in the cloud architect journey. And after that, you should finally approach towards solution architect professional where you have around five years of experience building sort of a scalable solutions, secure solutions and the solutions which are budget friendly and which are keeping your customers 24 seven, uh, sorry, which are keep making sure that your customers are up and running for 24 seven because obviously that is their bread and butter. Okay, now what about Microsoft Azure? So obviously if we talk about Microsoft Azure, so you have to start with fundamentals. You have to understand 
how cloud is inside Microsoft Azure. And after that, you should be approaching towards the Azure Solution Architect certification, which is an expert level of certification. So this is going to be an ideal journey, or I should say this is going to be your journey in the vendor of Microsoft Azure, where you want to become a solution, I should say cloud architect. Okay, the last vendor which we are going to discuss is Google Cloud Platform. So you will be, sorry, you will be starting with Cloud Digital Leader. This is going to be the basic certification with which you are going to get started with the journey in Google Cloud Platform. After that, you will be approaching towards Associate Cloud Engineer, which is going to be the second certification you should be having. And finally, you should be having a Professional Cloud Architect certification in the uh, uh, realm of Google Cloud Platform and this is how you're going to become a professional cloud architect in the platform of Google Cloud. So that is it about how you can make your career as a cloud architect. But I understand obviously you have some question. You are a bit confused and you need some sort of a recommendation. So if you have some certain questions, if you have suggestions for the videos, obviously put that in the comment of the description, sorry, comment of this video. And if you need a personalized answer, because obviously it was impossible for me as a person or as an individual to answer all the queries which you're having as an individual. So in that case, what I would suggest, we have a link in, link in the description of this video, video. Click on that link, fill in your details and someone from our team, the set of expert if I may, they will reach you and they will guide you what is the right career path for you. And I would say like why you should take the opportunity because obviously if you are coming from a different background, if you are thinking, okay, this is a very good career option for me and I should go ahead. But what is the right career path? Maybe you're starting out as a programmer. Maybe you are a college graduate. You have just graduated. Maybe you have seven years of experience. Maybe you have eight years of experience in the industry. And now you're thinking, okay, cloud, cloud architect is something which sounds fancy for me and I should be approaching towards that. So obviously for these kind of questions, put them in the link which is given in the description of this video and our experts are going to answer your queries. So with this, Thank you very much for watching this video and if you have suggestions please put that in the comment and if you like the content give a like and obviously subscribe to our channel thank you